Hello maths fans! To celebrate National Puzzle Day, earlier I posed the following question. When writing out the numbers 1 through to 999, how many times does the digit 1 appear? I can see lots of you have been getting involved on social media and posting your solutions, so here's how I thought about it. We start by considering the digits separately. So if we think about the number 1 as 0, 0, 1, then 0, 0, 2, and we continue in this way up to 999, then we can see that each number that we are counting has three digits. So if we call this one the hundreds column, we call the second one the tens column, and we call our third one the units column, then a good way to keep track of counting and to make sure we don't double count is to just count how many ones appear in the hundreds column, how many appear in the tens, and how many appear in the units. And we're going to treat these as three separate things to count and then add together the total. So starting with the hundreds, we can see that the only time we have a one in this hundreds column are the numbers that are between 100 and 200. So basically from 101 up to 199. They are gonna be the only numbers that have a one in this leading column. There are exactly 100 of those numbers. Now for the tens, we have to think a little more carefully. So here we can have anything in this first hundreds column. Then of course we need a one in the tens and then we can have anything in this third column. So as an example, we could have, um, let's say zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, two, and that's gonna go up to 0, 1, 9. And this same pattern will repeat if I replace the first digit with a 1, got 110, 111, 112, up to 119. And the pattern also continues downwards, increasing the digit here all the way up to 910, up to 919. So what we can see is that for each choice here, and this can be 0 to 9, we actually have 10 possible numbers that can follow in the tens and the units. So we've got 10, 11, 12, up to 19, so there's times 10 there, and that was with zero in the first column, but then we have 10 choices from naught through to nine for that first column. So we have 10 times 10, so we're going to again get 100 digits, or 100 occurrences of the number one in the tens column. Now for the units, we can do this in a similar way. So now we don't mind what's in the first position. Again, we've got a choice of zero through to nine. We don't mind what's in the tens position. And again, that can be zero through to nine. And in our third and final position, we have to have a one. So we have 10 choices here, 10 choices here, 10 times 10, means another 100 possible numbers that will have a one in the units column. And as I said at the beginning, because we've split it up in this way, we've actually covered all possible numbers from one through to 999, and we've made sure that we haven't double counted because we only included the numbers, for example here, we only count this one, we ignored this one because we were just counting ones in the hundreds position in that first column. So we've definitely not double counted. So the total is just 100 plus 100 plus 100. So there are 300 occurrences of the number one when writing out the numbers one through to 999. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the puzzle and had some fun trying to work out the solution. And very well done to anyone who figured out the correct answer of 300. For more maths content, please do check out my website, tomrocksmaths.com. Take care.